Okay, here we go. FNAF AR? What are you doing? Freak. Well, you want me to open it? What does what does this mean? Is, is it open it or like you'd want me to just turn it over or like I, I, what do you want? The freak is hold up. I'm already connected to some kind of cable too. Get the freak out of here, man. Hold up, there's something already. What the freak? Uh. I guess we're doing this all over again. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Simulacra 2. The sequel to of course Simulacra. Now this was a very interesting game where basically you went ahead and found yourself a phone and then you ended up getting involved in some kind of deeper mystery where you had to try and attempt to save someone. Here we now are at the sequel to the first game and I don't really know what else to say other than just begin this good stuff man. Now instead of playing it on the computer like last time we are checking it out on the iPad so I think this experience may be a little bit more immersive but we're gonna go ahead and find out man and if you want that part to. I think you know exactly what to do. Let's do this. We're gonna begin this adventure. What the fr- Who was that man in the back right there? You see that? Like an amalgamation of some kind of technology, dude. Choose how your journey begins? Um, hold up a second. You're a tabloid reporter and frights are your beat. And this one, you're a junior detective and a hardcore skeptic. Interesting. So we could straight up get like a unique path based on the get-go. See, now my man's a bit too much of a skeptic for my liking, whereas this one here, this one's into the scary stuff, so we're gonna be that tabloid reporter. Let's go. Oh, fully fledged cutscenes with this too. My man looking like a creep, but maybe he's good. Open the window. Here we go. It's good, nice brother. spot for a quiet date, huh? <laughs> I bet you're wondering what the great Detective Murillo is doing meeting up with a newspaper hack like you. Oh, dang! Look, I'm desperate, okay? I think this case is right up your alley. Oh. No one in the department has my back on this. Oh, well, someone else knows you're here. They may not have your back without watching you. I need someone on the outside. Just my luck, you're the only one I can trust. What the freak is that supposed to mean, huh? You say you're the best at digging up dirt, huh? Well, here's your chance to prove it. In return, you... Someone is nearby. This In man return, is very... You get the scoop of a lifetime. So we're working with him. Turn the phone on when you're alone. It gives us I'll give the you more instructions then. Oof. Don't make me regret this. All right. He leaves us just like that. He gives us the phone insta trust, man. Well, I mean, he's a detective. He could probably locate us no matter where we try and hide if we mess him over. And this is it. We're now opening the phone. You see the light blinking? Dude, this is dope. It's got like a fully fledged intro right now. Hold up, like, we ain't skipping this. Let's go. I hear that little 80 synth vibe coming in. Ah, look at the networks going here, guys. What if that represents the multitude of paths that we can take with this game? Okay. Ooh. Maybe these are the characters that we'll find throughout. Something like that. Oh, this belt. This is getting me hyped, dude. This is so much more than the first game. Like, hold up. Ooh. We got a deeper into this. Look. Yeah, we lost. Whatever this is. Simulator 2. Let's go, man. I'm ready for this one. All right. And just like that, the phone is glitching up. Test, Dr. Murillo. Hello. Yeah, look, I'm getting your text, dude. Okay, great. It works. Should I try and do his accent? No, I got a fresh murder case. Where I, I need your help. Okay, we're going <laughs> to click ward in a second. Yo, this is cool. Playing on like an iPad and like messing with this stuff. I got a fresh murder case that's way over my head. I need your help. Choose a reply. What's all the secrecy? I'm a reporter, not cop. Why ask for a reporter's help? I mean, true, we're just gonna go ahead and like tell everyone about this in the end. This is strictly off record, but I can't trust anyone on the force right now. Why? Kind of concerning. The chief closed the case in less than a week. He said it was an open and shut accident of death. They just want to hit this month's quota instead of doing the proper job. What a disgrace. Detective Murillo, I'm already on your side right now. Sounds like he really cares about solving these cases, not just closing them. Why waste time on a closed case then? Maybe they're just really efficient. This is a new low even for you guys. Um, 
They aren't efficient, dude. This sounds definitely like they're just skipping the beat. Let's try the top one. Why is he so interested in this, right? Because I know they're wrong about this, and we are going to prove it. I need the case reopened by force if necessary. So I borrowed the only evidence I need, the victim's phone, which you have right now. You stole evidence? You're going rogue. Is this a dead person's phone? Yeah, it's a light on my hold of it. It's grim and it's weird, I know, but it's effective. The investigation was a whole load of incompetent police work, slipshot evidence collection, bad interview practices. I don't even know why they bothered. My gut told me to further, and this phone proves me right. How did she die? Who was the victim? And don't you think your methods are extreme? See, these top two questions are interesting. How did our victim unfortunately perish? Officially, a heart attack. Her name was Maya. We received an anonymous call of a disturbance at her apartment. Responding officer found her dead. Don't you think that was too convenient, a tip-off? I really feel like there has to be foul play here. What are your leads? Uh, you're basing this on a hunch, and you think that because... Let's maybe ask about the leads first of all. Gotta be trying to further this. Nothing concrete, but listen. The video she left. Seems like she knew something bad was going to happen. Have you seen it? I haven't. It's the only response we got. He's gonna point us in one direction, right? Take a look at it. We got these different messages here. Uh, homicide. Now, these are all locked, so we can't actually access any of these. So, this is the discovered files. So let's go this way a second. No clues yet. And as for this, nope. access denied. Let me back up a second. So, we have media here. And let me click on media a second. We've got three videos and 64. Ooh, we're gonna go through that in just a sec. We start, though, with the system. Wait, system restore. Hold up. All right, we'll mess with that soon. Hold up. Videos three. We start by watching these three videos. So we work from the top down. So the first one is 16th of August. I'm just gonna set Phone this up. Are you guys ready? Uh, yes. Get in place. Get in place, okay? Uh -huh. And okay. Well, well. Let's go for it. Let's All go right. For it. At least I look like recording on the side, you know. So taking a picture. In three, two, one. To new beginnings. beginnings. Okay. So maybe they moved into a shared accommodation or something. There's no light. I'm not uh, sure if that went off. Mm. Yeah. Should I, should I, I feel these fan pictures sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, give me a moment. Oh, we got some here, hold up. Okay, I'm gonna so, take a look at it. Did it work? Let me guess, it was on oh, video sorry, and she realized that was on video. Then the next one coming in the 21st of October. Hi, namaste, you guys. Um, ooh. Immediate. That's really strange. Um, check the video file instead. You guys see that? Um, I see more than just that. Ooh. Maya, I think you got a manifestation. That was interesting. And look at this. Like two weeks later, the immediate thing this is, is all my fault. Stress. I saw all the signs, but I just wrote them off. What signs? It is just so much easier to believe that I was just imagining things. Okay, imagine. I didn't know it would get this bad. I knew it was gonna be dangerous. I felt it. Okay? Guys, I'm getting shivers right now. She looks so emotionally sad. Someone's watching her in the darkness, dude. She knows she's not alone. But what is lurking? It was video still I can feel it coming for me. Well, this is glitching out a lot. Like, I can't even stop I this, really guys. I think it's watching me. And I think it wants to hurt me. Yo, what the freak is happening? It's back. I have to stop this thing. Ooh. Look at this glitching out a lot, guys. Before it's too late. But what does she need to stop? What was she... Yeah, there's some messed up stuff. We can scan this as well. Detective Murillo immediately on the case to us. He knows we watch those videos. Now, look, I want to look at some of these pictures, man, because surely there's going to be some hints of things going wrong. Uh, for the most part, everything looking fairly normal, I suppose. I mean, apart from the phone quality being like 12K, how the freak you get a phone like that? Okay, hold up a second, Detective Murillo. Take a look. Looks like someone or something was hiding or stalking her. Anything stick out to you? She looks distressed. She's worried about someone hurting her. She's blaming herself for something. It's kind of almost everything right there. She's blaming herself for something that she did. You think she caused her own death? I'm, I'm not sure if she did. But what could have she done to feel hunted down in her own home? Reminds me of some of my stranger cases. What strange cases? Who is the video addressed to? I need a bit more for a story. Hang on. Detective Murillo may have faced similar things to this. Unexplained deaths and mysterious disappearances. That one time someone got possessed by their phone. This is your chance to be a part of something big. Work with me and the Department of Obscure Phenomena. A discreet team within the force solving cases involving the supernatural and the unknown. Murillo! You gave the phone to the right person. D-O-O-P, really? How big is this department? That's the dumbest crackpot conspiracy I've heard. Um, how big is this department? Like, how many are involved in this. Don't tell me just yourself. Look, 
I'm working this development alone. I can't convince anyone else. So I need you to be my civilian consultant to restore the phone. How do I do that? Do I look like tech support? Is re this really the best evidence we have? Now, I'm seeing a little train with these, like, answers, man. Because the top one is always, like, being involved. The second one's a bit kind of, like, cocky. The third one is, like, involving ourselves again. But I want to know how to restore the phone. I think I saw something about that. But let's just see to make sure. I was hoping you can answer that. Yeah, okay, I was wrong. I'm no good with new technology. So I was hoping you can finish what I started. I installed an app there called Warden. It scans existing files to recover lost or corrupted information in the phones. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. We need to restore the data on Maya's phone. No. Uh, yo, come on, dude. He offline. Hello. Hey. Okay, look, we're going to media. There was something in here. No, it wasn't there. Where did I see it? Oh, hold up a second. Just remembered. Okay, let's go back. You might find this manual useful. What? Don't send me a playing manual, bro. You're about to break the fourth wall. We, we got a video here, guys. We'll flip it. What is this? Dope training dot. Okay. Take four. Take uh, since the department wow. is pinching pennies. I'll be conducting this training manual for our new app. Okay. It's called, uh, uh never mind. You know what I'm talking Warden. about. Wireless online this app autonomous is a powerful data, data recovery tool mm -hmm. and clue detection tool. It does this by a what the I don't know what the freak that is. Blowfish, which is, uh, wait, a uh, cryptology. <laughs> does he even uh, know right now? What is important is this app can scan pieces of information uh -huh. and offer us new pieces of information. Ah. You just click here on this button yep. to start Point a scan. Point lower, dude. Point a bit lower, and but the I results got it. Okay. will pop in this space here. Aha. Uh -huh. You can then sort through the recovered data to find possibly crucial evidence for your case. My man reading off a script to right now. exit, just press the home button here. Okay, so we gotta scan the pic- Point a bit lower, dude, again. As you can again. see, this simple but sophisticated technology will help the force do our jobs better and faster. I mean, that's probably true, you know? Yeah, All you gotta yeah, do is yeah, click yeah. that. He does not look remotely interested in talking about that. Drop the smile, bro. That smugness ain't working. I look like an idiot. At least he knows what he looks like. <laughs> this explains nothing. You couldn't... Okay, we'll say the top one. I don't want to say the bottom one. I do want to get along with this guy. Really. We might have a problem if you're worse at technology than I am. Just get on with it. Okay, we're on the clock here. All right, Morello. So, this is our first look at actually scanning stuff. It would be nice if we could scan the home screen, because alone, this is clearly bugging out. Okay, so we go into photos, but... Wait, I saw the option. If I click on the video and I click on this... This is all okay, my fault. If I pause this, I can scan this. Look at this, dude. Maya distressed. What? I, I I clicked off that way too quick. Okay, now from what I read from that message, it mentioned Maya being distressed. Now we can scan this one too, because we know that there's some problems here. Do we skim through this and find the glitchy moments? Okay, maybe not. In that case, look, we'll go through the whole thing. No option to scan. So maybe we should go into an images file. There's 64 photos. Some of these may have something strange within. Let's I guess start looking here. We can skim through just like so. Bro, that's beautiful. Hey Maya, look at that. <laughs> um. Hold up, there's two photos at the very bottom here. This first one, let's scan it. There's something wrong. Corrupted photo. This photo is corrupted and cannot be deleted from the factory reset. Restore checkpoint created. Close. So, how do I then use that? I'm not sure. And also, this one didn't seem like it was right. It was like a darkened image. Wait, wait, wait. So if we go into here, we can now read what we missed. So Maya distressed. The self-recording of Maya looking distressed. Something seems to be coming for her and she blames herself for it. Um, what else do we need to look for in this thing? Hold up, we got one new thing over here. System re- So we can do this. Hang on a second. A corrupted photo has crashed the system during a reset attempt. Let's reconstruct this. Okay, hold up. File name. System restore. Drag and drop the file like this. I am learning this as we go. Nope. That didn't work. Let's try the first one here. A corrupted photo right here. Surely. Reconstruction successful. Interesting. Yo, I'm getting this down. So we're doing that system restore. Five out of six. And the last one right there. Let's go, man. It's what we had to do. The background. Look at all these new things. You're useful after all. Hey, shut the freak! Looks like some of the phone's data and information is being restored. Just keep doing this and we'll find something in no time. You spying on me? So what now? I do want to know, how does he know I just did that so efficiently, right? I'm still in charge here. So I can see whatever Warden recovers. Aha! So I can get up to speed immediately. So it's the app which is giving him the information. You need to know details of the crime scene as well. It's all in the case file. Am I going to the crime scene? You just need to bribe cops for this kind of access. Nah, listen. 
Moreno sounds on board. Keep going with this. Are we going to the crime scene? I'm not risking this covert operation by having you trampling all over the crime scene. I'll give you access to the police database. You'll find everything you need there. I usually need to bribe cops. I'm going to pretend you didn't just say that. Oof, he didn't like that. Just gave you clearance. So this is it, right? Database clearance granted. Get it from Warden. Damn it, I got to make sure no one notices the missing evidence. Do your homework, I'll get back to you soon. So if we click this, it gives us, I guess, some of the information. So the next thing we gotta do is search for and read through Maya's case file. Gotta find potentially five hints within that. Okay, so we head over here. This looks like it might be it. So we could search the victim name, got transcripts, road accidents, or city records. So let's type in Maya, find. See if we can find anything to do with her ongoing cases. Uh, might be from, uh, I think it was October, because that's the last time we saw her. Last, first and last names required. Okay, so I suppose then we have to find Maya's last name. We know her first name is of course Maya, but what is that last name? Uh, we have Surfer, Surf's up. Looks like maybe, oh, hold up a second. I recognize that guy on the bottom there, Rex Keegan. Okay, let's not get too distracted for now though. We need to try and find Maya's last name. Maya eats clean. Thank you for 100k followers. Dang, those likes popping up though real quick. All my fans and followers, you are the greatest gift I could ask for. I hit an incredible Chimera milestone yesterday and I can't express my gratitude and appreciation enough. I'm still reeling over the fact that there are so many of you following me. I love each and every one of you so much. You are why I do this. I am nothing without your support. Thank you for choosing to stay with me. I can't wait to see where we go next. Hashtag greatest gift. We can come back to that one, guys. Um, Maybe we look in her contacts. Does she have her own phone number saved somewhere? My phone number. Click on this one. It doesn't have anything, though, in regards to her name. Come on, Maya, come on! Lots of contacts here. Um, we won't run through any of these just yet. Let's see. Okay, emergency services are starred. She called them twice as well. How about we check her mail? She might have been invited somewhere. Dear Maya Crane! Okay, so Maya Crane. Again, we won't read any more of these. Let's just go. Okay, I closed the app down. We'll go straight to the victim uh, name. So we'll put in Maya, and then it's Crane. Yo, is she related to Carl Crane, though? Find. Search. It is searching. Please wait patiently while the database is working. We might need to change the month. Document not found. Okay, let's try uh, October. And the case was closed, so it could be cold cases closed. Let's try this information here. This might be good, or it might be bad. Let's see. Uh, a document was found within the parameters. Here we go. This is interesting. We're doing this, man! National Police Catalog. Okay, all information in this catalog is true at the time of entry. Please ensure adherence to all privacy protocols. Preliminary compilation of investigation by West Bank Rep or something. File case Crane Meyer, Entertainer, 7th of May 94, date of death, 21st of October. Autopsy report. Dang. Look at the details on her face, though. And it looks like her face was attacked. And you see the way she's positioned while she, like, must have perished. It almost looks like the fetal position, right? She's kind of hugging her body. That's interesting. Eyes wide open and not much distress other than really just the scars that go along her face. Anatomical summary. The facial tears. Multiple faint scars across the face leading all the way to the top and back of the head. As a whole, these scars appear to form a pattern. It looks kind of technical because it's like straight lines here and it does look mirrored too. Number two, facial tears. Scars were deep and extremely thin. Blood vessels around the affected areas were cauterized, probably explaining the absence of bleeding at the time of death. No visible burn injuries. Number three, the head injuries. Slight bruise on the back of the head suggesting that she collapsed and that was basically it. Number four, heart tears. Tears in muscle tissue around the heart, resembling spontaneous coronary artery dissection. Cause of this tearing is undetermined. Notes and procedures. This manner of death seems to be sudden in nature. The deceased possibly experienced a momentary loss of control or consciousness before collapsing on the ground. Likely due to the sudden strain on her heart, the injuries around the face could not be determined. Cardiac arrest. Uh, assigned by Dr. Aurelo Cohen, the deputy chief medical examiner. Transcript number 5286 compiled. We can open this. I think, yeah, it's opening. Look at this thing. Officer on duty and Mrs. Tench. Good day, ma'am. Oh, oh my, what's going on? Is that Maya's apartment? Yes, she was found dead this morning. G goodness, what happened? That's what we're here for. Did you see or hear anything last night? Pardon? Did you see or hear anything last night? Sorry, dear. These old eyes and ears are not what they used to be. I, I can barely hear you right now. Can you please repeat your question? It's okay, ma'am. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. Freaking get those ears sorted, though, you know? Description of evidence, laptop, Webcam, DSLR camera, unknown plastic device with three antennas. Looks like a self-made signal booster to modify Wi-Fi. Polaroid photo of victim and three acquaintances. Mobile phone model. Hair strands, various lengths, various shoe imprints near the entrance. One of men's shoes. A guitar pick, no other musical instruments. Okay. Chain of custody, bagged at the crime scene by Detective Murillo. Sent to evidence room for further processing. Okay, why is the background flickering too? Don't think I didn't see that. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo. Oh, God! <laughs> that was 
was kind of messed up. Hold up a second. Uh, yeah, we need to talk. I presume that you're done with the files. Anything in there looks normal to you? What the heck happened to a face? I'm digesting. Uh, hold up a second. We need to know what happened here. Maybe he, even he doesn't know. It's our job to figure it out. With the evidence we've got just there, I can't tell if those are lacerations or scars in the face. Never seen anything like it. Plastic surgery. Bruh. Don't make a bad joke, man. Wait, are you kidding me? I have no serious answer here. I guess I'll say the middle one, maybe. There was like male boot imprints. Uh, assault? Corona ruled it out. Discovery, discover deleted video and gallery. Anyway, those markings were not the cause of her death. Looks like old scars, but from what? No signs of forced entry too. Any witnesses? I mean, we checked and it seems like uh, Mrs. Tench wasn't there. Did you even read the report? Yeah, I, I mean, I did, but yeah. Okay, last person's here alive. What about CCTV? What kind of place she living in, right? She's got enough followers. Looks like she has a fairly luxurious like. Just our look. Some interference fried the apartment. Of course it did. Funny thing, same thing of the interference we saw on Maya's video, just weaker. As of now, nothing we have on the crime scene is 26 substantial. Our best lead is still the phone. There's still more we don't know. I can feel it. I've never done anything like this before. You sound very sure that there's more in this phone. What are you going to do? First of all, let's ask what he does whilst we, I guess, check out the phone. Find ways to cut up the red tape here. If there's something weird going on, we can't afford any delays. Okay, someone's talking to us right now. I need your tendency for this job. Every scrap of information on that phone is possible evidence, so make sure to recover all the data you can. Hold up, we had a video file recovered. This one here. Okay, this is the latest thing. Reconstruct. Details of the crime scene of Maya's death. Do I need to drag something in there? I don't think this is gonna work, right? Maybe. It was. My self preparation. The video of Maya saying she's setting up the webcam to record an impending incident. Hold up. This is. There still has to be a way to fix this, right? We're gonna have to destroy this thing we have to. What did you, you do, choice? man? Just have the camera. I think I have it figured out. I think those are the clothes they found her in. And we just need to get everybody here. Who's everybody? Well, we can get rid of this thing together. It has to work. It absolutely has to work. So more than one person knows about this thing. There's the computer. What's she doing? What's she searching, right? Why is there a picture of a giraffe in the back, though? Is that sweat? If you're watching this, and if we don't make it out alive, If we mess up, and I don't make it out alive, please watch the webcam footage. Webcam footage? You'll see everything that you need to see. Interesting. Hit the audio breaking up, dude. Whoa, another good hint. Another lead. Oh, you betcha. I knew you were the right hack for the job. We should team up more. Looking through a phone feels wrong. It does, but we've got to investigate truly what happened. She wants us to find this evidence after all. So let's say the top one here. We should team up more. Morello might be a bit reluctant. Don't get too cozy just yet. She recorded this just hours before she died. Looks like she predicted her own death. She was planning to gather everyone, her friends. And what really was she trying to end? Her friends must have been at the scene. What the heck was she up against? She was trying to fight back. She was. She knew a potential way to stop this, but yeah, she tried and failed, just as Moro said. There is one thing we can use. This webcam footage is our best lead yet. It might reveal what she was talking about, but if it's on a laptop, dang it, I can't risk being into the evidence room again. Don't you kids link everything on the cloud these days? Look through her phone. There must be another way to access her laptop. He's not wrong. It's a common thing that people do nowadays. Let's go. Bro, he's already commenting back. What, what, what the freak is that? Hold up. Activate camera? Wait, excuse me? Um, what is he doing? Is he trying maybe prompts to make it work? Sorry, that, that wasn't for you. So there's two chats here then. Okay, he sent us a video. Hold up, hold up a second. I just want to read through these real quickly. There's a lot of messages all around. So a couple of block contacts here and there. Okay, so new beginnings. What is this? So, 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 so it's official. We're a team now. Do you guys think we... Do you guys think we should have a team name? Like a big collective on the Chimera to do that. This isn't high school, Mina. And we gotta be like everybody else. I think this is a fun idea since we're friends now. Being part of a group doesn't make us automatic friends. Now, I wouldn't say so, no. How do I put this? Friendlier relations. Maybe I will introduce my face to your face. Could out, Rex. Anyway, Mina's right. Fans eat it up when their faves get together. Especially when they're all besties, you know. Having a name would sell that. 
Rex changed the group name to Rex's Rangers. Done and done. Seriously, what's next? Color-coded spandex suits? Yeah, well, you got anything better, Chica? Something non poultry even? Shut up. If we're going to have a name, it should be fierce. Something people are jealously on a path. Like Fame Fatale or Aesthetic. Those sound really intimidating. Precisely, so everyone will know not to mess with us. Are you trying to alienate people? How about the kind collective? Nice work, like network, support hive. You pronounce the last one as supportive. We get it. You own a thesaurus. You changed the group name to New Beginnings. From my favorite poet, Lexa Costas. This quote from his piece, it hits quite close to home, New Beginnings. These tears are not mine. They are not made of my body, my soul. They belong to the girl I once... They belong to the girl I once was. These are not tears of sadness or remorse. She is celebrating new beginnings that await her. That is beautiful, Maya. Rather cliche, but I suppose cliche as well. Two new friends and new beginnings. God, are you always so chirpy? Oh, I can't wait for the commotion this will cause. Good to see everyone getting along. We're finally getting our big breaks. Wait, wait, hold up. They're typing right now. I'm trying to... Hang on, guys. Yo, anyone showing up for the network session tonight? I think we can get some real pull from this. Guys, chill. I'll be there after my gig, thanks. Oh, guys, can you chill? I'm trying to- ah! Alright, let's listen to this gig then. What Ooh, is this? I thought I missed the jabber thing. Guys, can you stop but talking? I'm trying to do this. Too, right? I hate going for these things with them. Everyone's so fake. Okay. So if it gets Bro, too much, calm I down can with this chill with you guys. Come on, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, they won't stop talking. I can't! I, I hate how it auto scrolls too. Alright, guys, they're talking about like some thing, and I just realized I get like little answers. Um, hold. I don't know why I'm even getting involved in it. Didn't give me a chance to read. Maya? Can you guys stop talking now so I can like read this? I don't know what they just said. They're talking about spyware, why Maya's phone came on. Okay. Wh no, wait, who the hell is this? Why do you have a phone? Identify yourself. I'm a journalist. Guys, it's me, Maya. Just someone interested in Maya. Uh, I feel like maybe I should be honest with them, right? Uh, this might go bad. It's what they see. Just wow. Already jumping on Maya's story. But how did you get Maya's phone? Wanna bet it's illegally? I'm gonna report this. Go right ahead. It'll be public knowledge soon anyway. I'm working with the cops. We tell them straight, all right? We keep this factual. See what they say in response to that. What Rex is trying to say is this whole ordeal is hard on us all and we're all a bit jumpy. Right, Rex? I don't like this one bit. Rex talking to us again. Look, man. Uh, we already have spoken to the cops. Are we like suspects? Guys. Please. Do the police have any leads so far? What do you know? Just dead end so far. Worried about something? I don't discuss my investigations with interviewees. Let's just ask if they're worried about something. Uh, we've not reached any dead ends, we're just getting started with this. No? Just curious. Look, dealing with this publicly has been a nightmare for us. We're still in mourning, you know? Let's get this drama over with ASAP, alright? How do you know, Maya? Did any of you see her the day she died? Does she have any enemies? Let's ask this one here. I think we know the top one that all basically like online personality accomplishes. No, she kind of ghosted us for a bit. Yeah, even with work stuff going on. We run an influencer collective that maximized follower ROI and revolutionized content circulation. Do you have a layman term for that? You're all influencers? Was Maya's job giving her trouble? We can ask this one. It doesn't seem like it, but maybe these guys know something else. She was pretty worried about her follower numbers. Yeah, everything was good till... How do I put this? Till Maya went legit cuckoo. Rex! She was acting kind of weird. Like she went AWOL for a few days? Acting weird? Let's question this one. This is kind of getting somewhere right now. Weird like paranoid weird. Like she hadn't slept much at all. Now this is kind of backing up what we see in the video. Maya said she wanted to quit the business for good, but I thought she was just venting. Entrepreneurship is hard, man. Maybe she just couldn't handle it. I'm just sad she didn't tell us how stressed she was. Anything else to share? You're saying the job pressure did her in. Anything unusual happening at work? Let's ask this one here. Maybe some strange stuff happened and they might have said something? Uh, just the same old crap, different day, you know? Look, Maya always had high expectations of herself. I think that was her downfall too. Yeah, it sucks, but some people just can't be saved, you know? Is that all? Can I go now? Yeah, that's all. We'll just say that. Give him a peace of mind, at least for this moment in time. I hope you figure it out soon. Let us know if you need anything else. Later, Gators! No, Rex, shut the freak up. Okay, Morello sees we've been doing some stuff. All these new messages coming through. Man, I've got to keep on top of this. It's difficult. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yo. Um. I don't think I can get out of this. Look, it's deleted the one detective app we need. Yo, what are we seeing right now? Um... Holy crap, the phone is literally about to snap up. Was there something there? This is giving me fuzzes, man. I don't want to click anything. Phone? Maybe? Yo, she's turning more with each thing we click. Chat! Oh my god. Oh, not this crap again! Always watching over you. Iris the OS. Guys. I don't know about this one. We know all the crap with Iris last time. This ain't about to be pretty. It really ain't. What the freak? And it just restores. 
with all this new stuff. Three new posts on Jabba. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna leave this first episode of Simulator 2 here because I'm recording kind of late in the day and I do want to get this up on the same day I'm recording it. This is great so far, man. Like, you can feel the production value of this game much higher than the first Simulator, and that was a good game, so I'm very excited to see where this goes. Lots of different things happening at the same time, but we can still get some guidance on what we need to do. The most important objective is to find that file on her laptop. She said she recorded maybe her final moments and it may give hints in terms of what was happening. Once we find that, I guess then we'll be able to try and figure things out but for this one guys i'm gonna leave maya's phone here okay we're gonna figure the rest of this out in the next episode and for this one i hope you did enjoy if you did why not drop me that like rating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys of course i hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one